Hello viewers, welcome to Pastor Beam TV. Thank you for tuning in into this channel. It's Pastor Beam TV. Please keep with us because we've got those words that you need for your marriage, for your home and the care of your children. The God that we serve is good. He will not let us down. I'll just do a quick prayer for us so that we can receive that power, the continued strength, the supernatural ability and the agility to continue to do the things that God has placed in our hands as women, the roles he has given us to play as women who are called by his name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and the honor that is due your name. You have been faithful and we trust that you will continue to be faithful. We give you all the glory. Yes, we do. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you, we give you all the glory. To you, Lord, we worship you, our Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Yes, you are worthy to be praised, Lord. We can only praise you for what you have helped us to be able to do, to attain, and to achieve. And we put that same confidence in you that you help us with what is ahead. Thank you, Father Lord God, in Jesus' name. Um, today's message is dealing with service to the Lord. It's all about service to the Lord as women. Uh, we play roles, we give services that give glory to the Lord Almighty. And uh, when we talk about services to the Lord, we are talking about being prolific in our roles as women, being proli prolific in our role as mothers and um, as wife. And the Bible says, whoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I'm going to be reading um, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says that we have received power. Power after the Holy Ghost has come upon us. And as Christian women, we've received that power power to do what the Lord has called us to do, power to be who he wants us to be, power to be mothers indeed, power to be the right woman that our husband will call blessed. The Bible says that our husband and our children will look, up to, look to us and call us blessed. So as we play our role as that woman of valor, woman of purpose, that wife that is a blessing, we give Lord the glory. The glory goes to God by her lifestyle, by doing exactly as God has ordained for us to live as women who are submissive to their husband. And the Bible said their own husband. Ephesians chapter 5, 22 says that he, the, I read from the Amplified Translation, the classic edition that says that wives to be subject to their own husband. It says wives be subject. It says be submissive and adapt yourself to your own husband in service to the Lord. You have to adapt, the Bible says. We have to adjust to our own husband. You know, Bible talks about two has become one and when it comes to marriage is a question of compromise whereby you understand each other and for peace to reign, for joy to reign, for harmony to reign, we have to compromise, let go, sacrifice for the purpose of a beautiful and um, sustainable marriage where both parties enjoy. Um, I read to us earlier, I read to us earlier what the Acts 1 8 says to us. Act 1 8 says that we've received power, that power to be who God has called us to be. So our lives must be a witness that we are God's women, 
you know, by the things we do, by the things we say, by the way we run, the affairs of our home, the affairs of our, of, our, of, our, of our children, ensuring that they are living in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, just as the Bible enjoins us. Um, John 13 and 34 says to us that we should love one another, and in the process of loving one another, even inclusive of the children, you know, as a holistic body of Christ, in a home, we can attain anything. And we're talking about love that is unconditional, whereby we sacrifice, because love is sacrifice. So the power of love is so strong, it covers our husband, covers our children, and covers practically everything we do. And in the process, you can expect the result that is outstanding and will give glory to the Lord. So let's live in love, walk in love. And the ability that we have received the moment we give our life to Christ will work for us. Thank you for listening. It's Pastor Bing TV. Keep watching, subscribe, and share. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Bye.